Hello everybody, this is Aiden and Dad, and... We're doing another Aiden Life Q&A. Right, so Dad, I've recently been watching a lot of videos that have time lapses in them, and I've also been watching a lot of videos which have slow-mos in them. Can you teach me how to do them? Sure, let's look at uh, one that we've done before, and that was our uh, Tins Up Special. And let's just load up this clip. And let's view the whole thing there. And just to show you a normal speed again. Actually, let's jump in a little bit. So that was normal speed. In order to um, speed it up, to do a time lapse on it, what we did in that video was you go to this effect, which is a speed effect. Add that. So if you want to speed it up to double the speed, you just change the speed to 200%. And you'll see the video automatically shrinks by half the size. Makes sense if you think about it. And it loses the audio as well. Keep that in mind. If you wanted to keep the audio, you want to split it out beforehand or grab it again from that clip there. So this is twice the speed, right? So that's pretty decent. So let's go a little further here. So you'll see all the frames are still there. That's what this one means here. One means it shows you every single frame that's there. Um, if you want to do a time lapse, then if you think about how time lapses look like, it looks like it's actually a bunch of photos that people string together to make a video. So there's a lot of gaps in between. So if you want to simulate that kind of thing, you, you want to change the stroboscope here. The stroboscope, by the way, is that thing that people place at parties that they call the strobe light. So imagine people moving in a dark room and every five seconds or so there's a flash of light. So you'll see this captures of different movements um, with nothing in between. What I like to do if I double it up there, I, I make this like four. If, if that's a two, I make this a four. If that's three, I make it six. So let's just see what that looks like. Let's do it from there. Now it just looks laggy. No, it doesn't look laggy. You see the guy he moves pretty fluently. That guy is But mean. he doesn't swing that sword that as a, as if he's on heroin. True, but still it look So this is a this is in my view how you would do a time, time lapse. You have a bad definition of time lapse. The previous one was a speed up. Now related to this, you can use the same thing obviously to slow things down as well. Let's just go back to 100. There, single there. Actually, let's do this. Now the sound's back. Oh, I think it's slow, right? So this is reference. This is what it is. Now let's do half the speed. So you'll use the same thing. And I suggest you never mess with this if you slow it down. Because then it'll really look like Yeah, yeah, and I'm gonna demonstrate that to you. So let's just continue from here. So slow moves are good for a fighting game or a really epic bow shot or something? Yeah, and of course the, the more frames you have to play with, so if you record at 60 frames per second, you make much better slow moves. But even at 30, you can see this is pretty decent looking. Let's show you what happens if you mess with this strobe here. So I'm going to just do four. See, now it looks like a game that's extremely laggy. Can you take it lower than one? Can you do like 0.5? I doubt it. No. Hit the point there. 
So one is what you want to do. So it looks very fluent still, very nice slow-mo. Actually, let's do a little slower. Let's do quarter speed. Let me just find a better spot here. Over there somewhere. Even that, still very fluent. Doesn't look laggy at all, but it's nice and slow-mo. So very workable, depending on what you want to do. So very simple effect. Shows you all the frames nice and slow. Right, so in that video, Dad showed us how to speed up and slow down video tracks. We'll link our tense up special as an example at this spot and in the description. If you like this video, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Bye! Thanks for watching! Bye!